Hello everybody, welcome to this instruction video. In this video I'd like to show you how to do part 2 of the Crochet Along Peacock Tail Bag by Tatiana from Lillebjorn Crochet. For this Crochet Along I'm using Linen Soft Yarn, which is by Scheepjes, and I'm using a 3mm crochet hook. It's a smaller hook size than goes with the yarn, but make sure that you go a size smaller because of the gauge for this project. In this video I'll show you how to do the front side of the bag. It has beautiful details already. In a separate video I'll show you how to do the back side of the bag. I'll take you step by step through the rounds making up this part. I hope it's a useful video for you. Thank you for watching. You've come to the end of part two. You've done the front and the back side of your bag. Just a good moment to check for gauge again. You want the two sides to be about the same size. A few millimeters isn't a problem, but if it's really a, a big difference between the two, you're going to have to um, adapt for that. That's one, check that they're the same size. And two, you want to check that they are the correct width. I'll show you on the back, because that's easiest. You want to make sure that on its widest point, your bag at this moment is about 20 centimeters. If it's considerably more, 23, 24, you most probably won't have enough yarn in your kit. So you really want to make sure that it's about 20 centimeters at its widest point. So check your gauge, and otherwise adapt your hook size or your way of crochet by, for example, paying attention to your golden loop. This is completes the front and the back side of your work. You're ready for part three. Round eight. This round we're starting with a slip knot on our hook and we're going to start with a standing stitch as our first stitch stitch. This is different to how we started before when we would attach with a slip stitch. With a slip knot on your hook, we're going to start by making a standing half double crochet in the first double crochet, oh sorry, half doubles, these are the first half double crochet increase after these single crochets. See here you have these 13 single crochets, you have two half doubles and you have this increase. You're going to start in the first of those two that you worked in one stitch. We're going to start in there with a standing half double crochet. I'm going to just yarn over, hold everything tight and then in that stitch work a half double crochet. Like so. I'm going to work five half doubles. This was the first one. So then this is number two, three, four and five. We're going to work a treble cluster of treble four together around the post from this treble here, so around this treble. We're going to work it in a slightly different way than a normal treble four together where we just work all four legs in the same place. Let me show you. First do the first leg of the treble four together, so that's twice over for the treble. Then of course it's a front post, so around that post and pick up your yarn and complete your treble up to the second last loop. So that's once through, take off two loops and again take off two loops. Now you have two loops on your hook and this is your first leg of the treble four together. We're going to do this um, again. We need we need um, three more legs, so we're going to do it twice over. And now we're not going to go through the, um, the stitch. The, the do a um, so we're not doing a classical front post now. We're going to go through the bottom of this leg we just made. You see, there's a little loop here, in there, that that little space there. We're going to be anchoring the other stitches in this space here. Let me show you. So it's twice over. Insert your hook into that bottom loop. 
and then take off two loops and take off two loops. Now you have four loops on your hook, you've got two legs. We need four, so we're going to do that again twice over and in the same space work a, sec a third leg. Yeah, four loops on your hook and again in the same space work leg number five. That's one and two. At this point you've got two, four, five loops on your hook. You're going to all take off in one go. And that is your treble four together cluster that you just worked. And what's very important is only the first leg you worked actually as a front post, so fully here around this um, this post here, and the others you worked in the first stitch itself. This you're going to be doing a lot more of these, so remember the technique. We're going to skip a stitch to the back. So if you look here to the back, we're going to skip the next stitch, that's going to be this one. And then in the next stitch, that stitch we're going to work a half double. So in that next stitch, work a half double. So that's one. We're going to work three, so also in the next two stitches. Two, three half doubles, like so. We're now again going to do a front post treble, and we're going to do it around the third half double of round six. So you see you have one, two, three, four, five. I've got them here in the pink, these five. You want the middle one, that's number three. You're going to do a front post treble around that stitch. So it's twice over, then around that stitch, make a front post. And then bring it up by completing the stitch. We're now not going to skip any stitches, very important because we skipped one here to the back behind the treble cluster. Now you're just going to continue on to the next stitch and make half, three more half doubles. So you see, immediately in the next stitch, I'm not skipping any stitches. Immediately in the next stitch, work one, two, three half doubles and that from the treble cluster to this last half double you're going to do this eight times in total. I'll show you the repeat one more time. So starting the repeat unit, our second repeat, start with a treble four cluster around this front post here, so around this one twice over, to work as though you want to work a front post around that, and two, stop before the last yarn over, and again two times yarn over, and in the bottom loop here of the cluster, or for the treble I just made, make sure you get all your loops, I'm just splitting my yarn, I want to have everything there we go. And take off two loops and two loops. Again, two times yarn over. Insert, pick up, take off two, take off two. And you do this one more time, twice over. And in that same space of this first stitch you made of this cluster like so. One, two, three, four, five loops on your hook, four legs and take them all off in one go. To the back you're going to skip a stitch, so you're going to skip that stitch and work in the next one. Work a half double in the next one. That's one and that's the first of three, two, three, 
three half doubles. Let me just pop my cluster a bit to the front there. There we go, that looks better. It was a little squished back there. And now we work a front post treble around the middle, the third one here from round six. Me, I've got them here in the pink around there. Work a front post treble. Do not skip any stitches, so immediately in the next stitch work a half double. So one, you're going to work three, so also so just in the next three stitches work a half double. Like so. Now you've done the repeat two times, you need to do this eight times. So continue and then I'll see you on this side. When you've done the repeat eight times, you're just on the other side. Your next stitch is the one here that's above your um, treble. As you can see you've gone all the way around here. And on this last one, in that post, that treble, you're going to make a um, treble four together again on this front post. So that won't uh, surprise you. So again, make a treble four together. That was one, and then the next three legs are again in the bottom of that first. Oh dear, that was only once over. Need to do twice yarn over, of course. And then the next three legs are in the bottom of the first one. It's two, and then this is number three. And then this is leg number four. Five loops on your hook. Take them all off. And there we go. You're going to skip a stitch to the back and then work half double. So you're again going to skip the next stitch and in that stitch going to work be your first half double of five. So that's one, two, three, four, and number five. Let me just, there we go, push that bobble a little bit forward, a little squished in there. There we go. This completes round, um, Eight. You can cut your yarn at this point and open up. So you have. So don't worry about the fact that you have the top open here. We're going to um, work many more rounds, and then at a certain point, we'll cover those stitches again. So this is round eight. Round nine. I have a new color yarn on my hook again with a slip knot, and this row. We're going to work a half double on each and every stitch from row 8. So the green here, you're not working the light single crochets there in the middle. What I've already done is I've unpicked the knot from this first stitch. Remember if you do the standing stitch you have a knot on your hook and that's knot I've already un uh, undone so that I can take this tail with me and work it in. That'll give you just an a nicer edge here than if you leave the knots in there. So I'm going to undo each knot of every row as I go and then I can work away my yarn tail as I go. Again a standing stitch and on that first one because it's a half double it can be just a little hard to get into so just make sure you get that entire stitch. There you go. And we're doing a half double through that first stitch. And now I seem to only have enough for a single crochet. So we do that again. And there we go, through there. And work the half double. And you see now I've again got a little knot there, this one here. I'm going to, so I'm going to undo that next time when I do the next round. This thread I'm now just going to pull
pull a little tighter to get that stitch nice and even and then take it to the back here I'm going to work over this green thread and now it is actually rather easy because it's simply a half double on each and every stitch no increases nothing weird just a half double on every stitch I'm going to give you 75 in total I continue work a half double on every stitch and you can see how I've worked away how I've taken this thread with me I can just pull it a little tighter there we go so that gives you a nice clean edge work a half double on every stitch from row 8 so until you get to your last stitch here row 10 again I have yarn on my hook with a slip knot and I've unpicked that knot from the first stitch from the previous row so I can just take my yarn with me very important for this row we're starting in the second stitch not the first one so very important second stitch otherwise your, your alignment is going to be all wrong start in the second stitch and we start with a standing in this case because it's the first one standing half double crochet you can see it's the second stitch and I'm going to take that thread with me to the back and work over it there we go that's the first half double I'm going to work five so that was one two three four and five half doubles I'm going to pull a little bit on the pink yarn here to get that edge nice and clean there there we go we're now going to start a small repeat unit again that you're going to do eight times so the first part of the repeat work two half doubles in the next stitch that's one and two two half doubles and now make three half doubles on the next three stitches so that's one on each two three and there we go now we're again going to do a treble four together so exactly like we've done here but this time you're going to do it around this post here so in exactly the same way twice over for the treble and then around the post make your first leg that's one and then the next three legs of the treble four together you're going to pick up in that stitch that's going to be one and that just doesn't want to work there we go that's one and two and also number three all through the bottom space of that treble that first leg okay, you've got five loops on your hook take them all off and fashion your cluster that you've just worked we're going to continue by skipping a stitch to the back so again pay attention to where you are right now that's the last stitch you worked in so we're going to skip that stitch and then work in the next one and that's going to be a half double the first of three so we're going to skip that stitch there and then do one two three half doubles and that from the increase to this last stitch that's your repeat unit you're going to do that eight times that's again going to bring you to this side 
I'll show you the repeat once more. So that's an increase in the next stitch. So that's two half doubles. Followed by three half doubles, one on each of the next three stitches. Work a treble cluster around the post from two rows down, and you're again going to work it in exactly the same way. So through the base of the first leg, you make legs three, two, three, and four. And two and three. Yes, and there we go. And I'm just wrestling with the yarn a bit sometimes because it is a reasonably small hook for this yarn. Five loops on your hook and take them all off in one go. Fashion your cluster a little bit. Skipping a stitch to the back. See, I'm skipping a stitch there. And then work one, two, three half doubles. Just fashion it a bit more. There we go. Now done the repeat um, three, two times. You need to do eight of these. When you've done the repeat eight times, this is the point we are at the moment. You have a few stitches left. On those stitches we're going to work the following. Start by making two half doubles in the next stitch. One and two. Followed by three half doubles, one on every stitch. So one, two and number three. You have one stitch left, just pulling it close. This one stitch, you're going to work two half doubles in there. It's going to be one and two. At this point, you can again cut your yarn and open up, and then you've completed row ten. Row 11, a new color yarn on my hook, again with a slip knot, and I've again unpicked the knot here, and on that first stitch we're going to start with a half double crochet. This round, very similar to two rounds ago, we're going to work a half double crochet on every stitch. So the first one is of course a standing half double, and that first stitch, because I've unpicked that knot can be a little hard to get into. And that's the standing stitch. I'm going to just close that again. There we go. I'm taking the yarn with me. I've got an itch. And then we continue and work a half double on every stitch. This is again a very relaxing round. Work a half double on every stitch until you get to the other side. So no skipping any stitches, no doing any increases. Work every single stitch one half double crochet until you're to the other side here. Row 12, new color yarn. We're going to start in the second half double crochet, in the second stitch, and again with a standing half double. So in that second stitch. I've again unpicked the knot. I'm going to take the thread with me. That's one, and then two, Two half double crochets on, num on stitches number um, two and three. So you're skipping the first stitch. Just pull.
pull a little bit tight. There we go. Now we're going to start our repeat unit. It starts with three half doubles. So that's one, two, three half doubles. Now we're going to do a front post treble around the first half double crochet of this increase that you have down here. So you see those two? That first one, you're going to do a front post treble around that increase. So it's twice over around the post of that stitch work a treble like so. Now to skip a stitch to the back and then work four half doubles. So skipping a stitch to the back see I'm skipping that stitch there in the middle work four half doubles. One. two, three, and four, like so. You're now going to do two half doubles in the next stitch. And this increase should be above your um, treble four together from the previous round. So that's a checkpoint for you, that this alignment is there. So this is your repeat unit. You're going to do this um, eight more times. Show you the repeat once more. Start with half doubles on the first three stitches. So one, two, three. Then a front post treble around the first um, half double of the increase. You have two there in one stitch, doing it around the first. Skip a stitch to the back and then work four half doubles. One, two, three, and four and on the next stitch which should be above your treble four together go to work two half doubles so one and two let's repeat two times do this eight times when you're almost to the other side you've done the repeat eight times so your last stitch is that um, two half doubles in the one. You still need to work a few more half doubles. So let's start by making three. On the next three stitches work one half double crochet on each. Like so. Again making a front post treble around the increase from two rows down, that first half double. So it's exactly the same position as you have the others in this round. Like so. Again to the back skip a stitch and then work half doubles. See so you're skipping a stitch there. Then work one, two, three, Four and the last one, number five. You're going to just have to. I'm just going to have to pull that tight there, and then you work number five. So after that, treble, skip a stitch, and work five half doubles. Cut your yarn and open up, and then you've completed row twelve. Row 13 already, new color yarn on my hook and this time we're going to start on the first half double on the very first stitch. Again I've unpicked the knot and start on that first stitch with a standing half double 
and I'm just going to ease up into that stitch and this standing half double is always a little tricky to get into that's not uncommon because of the way this stitch looks and um, I am going to win this, yes I just did so that is a standing half double through that first stitch and then I'm just going to pull that tight again that is the first stitch made. I'm going to do two more and then I'm just taking the green yarn with me, the light green yarn two and three. And there we go. Just want to pull this a little bit more. Yes, now I'm happy with that edge. So I've just done three half doubles on stitches one, two and three. Now we're going to start our repeat units. Make five half doubles, one on each of the next five stitches. So two, three, four, and five. Five half doubles. Chain. Four, one, two, three, four, and now you're going to come down to row 11 and you're going to work three front post single crochets. And you're going to work them around the stitches that are um, around your cluster from, if you, from row 10. You see here's the cluster, you've got a stitch that's in your cluster you're going to work that stitch and you're going to work either side of it also. So you're going to work the stitch before, the stitch that's in the cluster and the stitch that's after the cluster. So around those three you're going to work a front post single crochet. So this is the stitch that's before the cluster. Work a front post single crochet. Then this this is the stitch that's in the cluster, work a front post single crochet and then the stitch that comes after the cluster work a front post single crochet. So now you can see that you've worked three stitches in there. Chain four one, two, three, four. I'm going to skip five stitches up here this is the last stitch worked, that's that stitch, so you're going to skip one, two, three, four, five stitches and stitch number six, and that one there, you're going to work your next stitch. And this is again the start of the next repeat unit. So five half doubles, the chain four, the single crochet is the chain four, that's your repeat unit. And then skipping five stitches here to the back. You're going to do that eight times, I'll show you once more. So that next stitch, this half double, is already the start of the second repeat unit. You can see to the back that I've skipped stitches, five stitches, that's one, two, three, four, five stitches skip. That's one single half double, you're going to work five, two, three, four, and five single crochets, chain four, one, two, three, four, come down and work front post single crochets in the stitch that comes before, before the, the cluster, in the cluster and after. So the first one that's before, work a front post single crochet, then the one that's in, work a front post single crochet and after, work a front post single crochet. Again, chain four, one, three and four. Going to skip five stitches, that's one, two, three, four, five. 
in stitch number six, work a half double, and then this one is again the start of the next repeat unit. So you can see how you're making um, little U's here, and these are centered above your treble clusters from two rows or three rows down. So this you're going to do all the way around, and then I'll see you just on the other side here for the last part. I've now done the repeat eight times, so you're almost back here on the other side. Again, skipping five stitches, that's actually still part of the repeat. See, so one, two, three, four, five. Then that stitch there, you're going to do a half double. You're going to do eight half doubles now. It'll bring you to the end. It's one, two, three, four. And then number eight is of course on that first, actually the last stitch I should say. Number eight. So there are eight half doubles, cut your yarn and open up. And at this point you've completed row 13.